Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, we're doing an update of the big boy bin. And, uh, ooh, what have I got here? I don't know, but it appears to be alive. So, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, it doesn't belong in my bin. That much, I do know. If you don't compost, you can't live here. So I've been covering with the garbage bag in hopes that would help, and it looks like it totally has. You can see how wet everything is. Here's my worm snug. Check it out! I have a worm snuggling in my worm snug. And see what else we have on top. Okay. A multi-species worm ball here. You can see some euros and some blues and some wigglers. As we can see, the speedy one down here. That's totally a blue. Even if I couldn't see anything else, the fact that he's zipping away, exceeding the worm speed limit, definitely tells me that that is a blue. Okay, well, here's my paper cover, <clears throat> cardboard cover. And now that it's been in there for a week, it's definitely wet. And we've got all kinds of worms on the top. And they are really, you can see all the castings here on the top that are just, you know, those are perfect. And see what I've got in here as far as food. Stuff on top here to the side. I think I piled everything in the middle this time, but I, I'm reasonably sure I haven't messed with this since I did the dumping. I think I may have added more cardboard in the garbage bag. All right, well, let's see what's going on over here where I added all that water on top of the plastic. And we have quite the uh, collection of worms here all hanging out. Some very pretty little reds. Some healthy euro. All right, let's keep digging. See what we find. See how much of that food is left over. There was quite a bit of food. No, no love from the Mango pit. Still smells a little bit like orange, but it's really a nice moisture now. There's the coffee filters. More happy euros. Worms trying to hang out in the bag. And in the coffee filter. If we just take this bag, kind of pick it up and move it, see what I've got underneath there. But that's, uh, it's not really a worm ball per se, but certainly, hey, look, part of the bag broke apart. That, that's got to count for something, right? Coffee filters and paper. But yeah, the moisture is super 100% better. There's another stubby. Or maybe it's the same stubby. I don't know. It's a cute little guy. All right, I'm going to do some digging and I will bring you back. All right, I'm getting even farther down in here. I'm pulling all the food off to the side so we can repurpose that. But yeah, this part where I had buried all the food is totally 100% better. Temperature's also better. It's probably 10 degrees warmer now. It is still nice to smell the orange though, I will admit. Sometimes when I get to digging around, it's, it gets a little funky sometimes. Kind of changing color, don't you think? A little bit? I'm gonna put all my food scraps in the screen. 
That way, if there's any little ones hanging out in that food, I won't lose track of them. But I think I'm going to do the, not really migration, but I'm going to move all the food scraps to the other side. It is feeling a little more compacted. It's probably just the all that water I added swelled all the fibers of everything up, perhaps. I think of when I should do this. I figured I would make the the dumping of the big boy bin like my first live event. Let me know what you guys think. Because I work in a industry that is kind of uh, seriously related to the farming industry, come fall I will not have time to mess with this until after Thanksgiving. So if it's going to be one of those now or never things. So I was uh, thinking that maybe July 4th weekend or whatever close to that would be the weekend um, before or after. I could dump this out. Plastic. But aside from the paper that I've dragged through here, everything looks really, really well composted. To fluff it up and do feedings. here. Oh, tea bag, tea bag and tea bag string. Yeah, I've got to think of urban worm bag or vermi bag would definitely be better for this system, for this big of volume. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised. They really did make a good dent in all that food. All of the leftover turnips and and everything or those are just gone having these fake nails it's kind of like being a honey badger totally just dig in here yeah lots of good worm density in here styrofoam Alright, well that is pretty good, I'm gonna move everything over to the other side and excavate a side, fed the middle before, and then we fed this side before, so middle side, and then I'm gonna go back this way. Hey guys, I'm back with the food. Got the little coffee filters, more coffee filters from work that I'm gonna spread out as sort of a, a barrier layer so the moisture can stay next to the food so everything can get done. Um, now that I'm finding those big freaky worms in my bin, I'm thinking that I really, really want it to uh, get dumped faster, sooner than later, because if I find giant alien bugs, uh, I'm gonna be super unhappy. Um, I'll be just as unhappy if they turn out to be cicadas because I freaking hate those things. All right, so here is the area we're going for. Here is one portion of the food. This is uh, different, oops, different than my regular mix. This also includes some pureed rice that just uh, didn't work out. So little worried about doing the rice thing. I've only ever done a few specks at a time. So a little concerned about adding that to the mix, but it is diluted with a bunch of apples and oranges and bananas and coffee grounds. So I'm not going to give them as big of a feeding as if I would have not put the rice in there, just because I, I don't know what it's going to do. I mean, it's a 55 gallon bin. They can get away from it. I'm also doing something that I know I'm going to regret later, but these are pistachio shells. But at work in the green bin, people put them in, so if they have faith in the worms, I will have faith in the worms. So cover this up a little deeper than usual. Also brought out my soil tester 
thing. I wasn't sure how accurate it would be. Uh, cause it's supposed to be able to tell the pH of soil. And if it is to be believed, see if I can get that in the camera. My compost bin is right at seven or a skosh below. I don't know how the fertility thing is, it does work or not. I think low fertility is probably not right, <laughs> considering this is worm castings for the most part. Possibly the pH thing will work. It's under a hugely bright light and it is seeming to get that. It understands that. So maybe the pH thing knows what it's doing as well. I was interested to see if that worked and I, I found this the other day and I thought, hey, I shall see. Oh, forgot, got my worm snug. I don't know, I put it sideways or did I put it up and down? We'll just, we'll just do that. Am I burying it? Don't I bury it? Ugh, why don't I pay attention? So, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms and, oops, little zippy blue worm here. All right, well, Stubby's back and he would very much like you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Have a good night.